welcome to another video on the channel. It's Ghost Revex, aka Ghost. I'm not even gonna spoil it for you. We just gonna talk you through it. But all I want you to know is how to run the rhino. The albino, albino rhino, baby. So anyway, this is the rhino. This this honestly, this is one of my favorite. I'm not gonna say this is my favorite body anymore, but it was one of my favorite. When I first got my hands on the rhino, I was like, oh, I love this. You're running over people. People, when you saw a rhino back in the day, it was murderous. You didn't want to see no rhino. No, sir. It's like, okay, I got to get past the shield. Ugh. They running me 100 miles an hour. The doors drop. I'm in trouble. Because all they got for me is pain and anguish when the shields drop. So anyway, <laughs> here we are on power plant. I think I got the fury behind me like, yo, son, I'm about to bring the pain to whoever steps out. Uh, to charge up these circuits. So anyway, we're running the Rhino. Definitely, if you got questions about running the Rhino, just watch this video. It's a good video for, let's give you a good idea of running the Rhino wisely, I would say, and in the best fashion. Here we are taking on the Bogusari. So definitely relevant to the game currently. And the Bogusari has shot trees. So it's definitely relevant. So you, what you see I'm doing, I'm moving in, trying to get toward the Bogusari. You know, always watching to the dash. How many dash did they use, right? They only have two. Okay, if they use if they use one, that means they only got one more to go. And they've only dashed so far. So you want to be wise about that. So here I am trying to basically cut them off, but I don't want to drop my doors, right? I still get hit because I'm at an angle. Of course, the Rhino, you have to take corners wide. But I'm also looking at the Fury behind the Bogusari. So when, you, when I turn around, I got to deal with this... This, this Leo, the evil Leo, the super heavy metal, and then the Bogusari jumps out. And I'm just going to lock it down. And, you know, the goal is to remember that they can dash out really quickly. But also, a good pilot is going to try to attack you when you, your, your defenses are down. They're not really going to try and attack you head on. Some will, but but I, I believe most pilots that are really trying to do trying to get you out the game. They're gonna try and attack in a certain way, like this Rhino. The Rhino, they're moving up, they know I'm injured, so they're just trying to walk up. They're not really trying to just run right up on you with their shield, but they're moving out outside a little bit, so they don't take any damage just trying to corner shoot. But of course, here go the Leo. The Leo is just like, let me go over here and take this person out. So the Leo gets me, they take out the Fury. We both must have been on like a a uh, piece of health. We didn't have no health whatsoever, right? So here's the DB version of the Rhino. Definitely was a... You still don't want to see this build, to be honest with you. So here we are. We're going to go ahead and try and talk to the Leo a little bit. Of course, we do some good damage. I'm taking a lot of damage. Trying to get out of there. Could not get out in time. That is the drawback to the Rhino. When you're out in the open, if you can't get yourself moving fast enough, you will usually go down if you're taking enough damage. The alternative to the Rhino is this guy here. Really, the only difference between the two is the placement of the weapons and the fact that this one can jump and the Rhino can just move fast with the shield. That's really the difference, but that's what celebrate, separates them. That's why people use the Griffin more than the Rhino currently. And in the current metal we just took out, that was a hover body. Didn't realize it. Too bad. I guess they got revoked on their flight plan. But anyway, moving over. I know this is a dash back there on the right. So I'm always paying attention to the bots that can do me the most harm. A dash bot, Inquisitor, another DB. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. There's one right there. So I'm going to jump. I tried to lead, but you can see nothing I fired hit. Like nothing. It was a waste. And the one thing I will tell you, Orkins do not hit or don't do well in the air at times. So you really have to kind of pay attention. If you're on the ground, you just fire at your target, you may still hit it. But as you can see, I was jumping. I was trying to lead in front of him, but it didn't really hit him. Maybe if I had led more behind him, it still would hit him, not sure. But I know usually if I'm using Talumbas, they will still hit you because they fire underneath you. And when you land, you tend to hit them. Maybe in that case, I still may not have hit this person because I was firing behind him. Here we're taking out this Gareth, and as you can see, I was firing basically in front of that bot. I was behind him at first, but I kind of moved into the front to make sure we got him. Here, look in the air. They hit me while I'm in the air, but they have three cans. Plus, the Carnage was firing too, but 
it goes to the carnage because the carnage got the actual uh, I guess you say get the got credited for that but I would say the majority of the damage was done by the the Hachi right there that was on the ground so here we are and I'm watching the range by there there's a Raijin and you can see the yellow is starting to come up on their weapons they have two trebs and I'm just moving in watching my team I'm trying to watch that corner for my teammate. I think my teammate didn't really notice they were there, so we're just going to fire. But I'm kind of trying to stay near this building because if I move back too far, the right will get a shot on me. So you can see the little, the little eyeballs are going to help our team right here. You can look at the score, man. This score back and forth does not change for the entire battle, man. <laughs> it's a good fight. But look at the little right He's just sitting there. He or she's like, hmm. Come on, evil side. You, you know, they're like, yo, come on. Come on, step out. So I'm just helping my team right here. Still trying to watch my distance to the building. Don't want to back up too far. And my goal is to keep firing over here against the, the enemy team that's coming in. But I also want to make sure I don't move out too far that the Raijin gets a clean shot. So the Raijin move, now I can try and get out of this position, okay? So when you're playing on power plant, that's why I tell you, if you're doing a range bot, you want to be moving a lot. That way they can't really pinpoint where you're at all the time. Maybe they move a certain position, you've moved, and now you have a better shot. So now we're trying to work on this bot over here. We're up by two, trying to get this one out of here. Now we're up by one, and then the Bogusari rolls in. It just, yeah, this is just back and forth. So I go ahead and go over here to get this bot out, and I have to get down real quick. Why? The Bogusari is rocking Turan, I mean, Talumbas on it, and they do a lot of damage, right? I don't know what level them puppies were, but they <laughs> they wasn't really playing around with me. And then as you can see, the Rhino on the other side, it's a DB Rhino. Then I see we're in trouble. A Carnage has snuck up behind the group and was basically going to wreck shop, okay? So I'm actually doing damage to them. I don't really see anybody's, okay, I see my man to the left, he had energy, but... That Natasha didn't have much for that, that Carnage, right? They had the Tritons, but that close? Nah, that, and that Carnage was at full health. So that was just going to be a, a, a fest over there. <laughs> just going to wreck, wreck shop over there. So now we're up by two steel. Two Carnage out here. Look at the Carnage. You got the spider. Look at the whole crew back there doing their thing. They just put down suppressive fire. Uh, you want to walk across here? Then I look up. My man sneaking up behind the group again. So when you're playing on this map, people can come around the backside, and I know it's good to get with your team and start firing on a target, but you have to, you have to be looking around your backside because this, this map is, and any map that's small is really good for flanking, but this map is good for flanking you, and flanking just means they come from a side that you're not paying attention or don't realize it there, you know, you have peripheral. So as you're looking at my screen. All I can see is what I'm looking in front of me, and as I turn, if I don't turn my camera to the left and right, I will not see what's on my left and right until it's too late. And I'm actually injured pretty good, so here we're just trying to watch a bot. I think my goal is trying to get that one out there without getting taken out. We'll see if that works out. And that's a bogus, sorry, so he's got a shield. They're going to try and slide at me and basically turn and then burn me, right? So I'm going to try and back out the spiders here. Somebody's firing the aphids over the top. Bogusari is trying to get shots in and move, use that building. I'm able to jump up and go ahead and do some more damage. You can see, still only up by one. Now we're up by two. Trying to put us up by three. Back to one. <laughs> Back to two. Just, just the entire battle, man. Back to one. <laughs> this was just a fight. These are the. This is why I enjoy playing the game. Battles like this. It's not like uh mentally fun <laughs> right but it is fun right because you're in a battle and you have to make sure you're doing everything you believe possible to try to win it you're trying to support your teammates we're up by two now you're trying to not get taken out just on doing something dumb and you're just trying to play the game as strong as you can so we're up by one point 30 seconds to go my teammates are basically locked down the Raijin's trying to do damage, but he's got to be careful with the shield. I can't see his health. Uh, coming in a future patch, we will be able to see our teammates' health. I think that'll help. 
I hope it's not cluttery, right? I hope it doesn't clutter up the UI. A lot of things we want to add. So hopefully I do that very cleanly. We're only up about one, eight seconds. I have to be careful because even though they only have two mediums, they're doing a lot of damage to my bot. And I was getting towards the shield, but I didn't really just blow through it. Whew, and we won, baby. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed this video, slap the like button. Once you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. Bell notification so you don't miss the next video. Oh, and by the way, you got questions? Leave them in the comments, baby. Deuces. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. And as always, choose like over death.